Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy series. I'm your host Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today we're going to talk about hallucinations. Not the fun kind, the AI kind. So what a lot of people don't really realize is that in the AI world, we use a term called hallucinations. And what that means is it's when the AI systems just make up an answer and throw it at you. A lot of people don't really realize this. They think that whenever the AI is giving you an answer, that it's coming from, you know, hey, there's some factual basis of these results. That is totally not true. And that's something I really want to make sure everyone understands is that AI makes stuff up all the time. And if you look at like the AI disclaimer, if you will, at the very bottom of most of these places, you'll see it says, you know, don't trust these facts. You need to look them up, things like that. Um, but for the most part, everyone kind of takes these zero shot answers and just runs with them thinking they're true. And a lot of people have actually gotten in trouble for this, right? Like lawyers have been disbarred. They lost licenses because they're putting, they're running their stuff through GBT and it turns out stuff is wrong. Um, it's, it's not good. So always check your answers. Everything that chat GPT, Claude, any of these AI LLMs give you, you need to validate that the answers that they give you are legit. One way that you can do that is you can say, hey, give me a bibliography, give me references to check out, and it will give you links, and you'll find a lot of those will probably even be wrong. So it's important to always check whatever these LLMs give you because AI cannot not give you a response, if that makes any sense. We're gonna use some double negatives now. So if you say, hey, I have a question. I'm gonna ask, hey, what was, what's the difference in distance between Mars and Venus on this date? And it may not know, but it's going to give you an answer. So no matter what question you ask it, it will always provide an answer. It will never say, I don't know. And that's kind of the problem. So because these LLMs won't say, I don't know, they just make crap up and then give you the answer. And then that is a hallucination. So one of the things in being a really good prompt engineer and utilizing these AI systems is recognizing hallucinations. So one thing you can do to get around hallucinations is to get more detailed prompts to the LLM so that it provides you more factual based answers. One way that I like to do that is pretty much every prompt I do, first I tell it, what is the AI system? So if the, the very beginning of the prompt, I'll start and say, you are an enterprise level identity access manager architect dealing primarily in financial institutions. Then I'll say what I want. Okay, I want you to do blah, 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 blah. And then at the very end, uh, then I'll give it an, another prompt and say, I need you to ask me questions to get more answers so that you can provide better results. So telling the AI LLMs to ask you questions, it will then dump out the first result. We'll say, hey, answer all these questions for me. You just, you don't, you just copy and paste it. And then like you would almost like redline in an email, or you can just say like, you know, question number one, here's the answer, one A, here's the answer, whatever, these bullets, it's smart enough, it'll pick those up. So if you tell the AI system to ask you questions and you provide answers to all those questions it then asks you, you'll get an amazingly better result and whatever it is that you're asking. So look out for hallucinations. Don't trip on mushrooms unless it's Saturday. Later. Hey everyone, you going to Identiverse this year, May 28th and 29th in Las Vegas? We're gonna be there and we're gonna make it awesome. How? We're having a scavenger hunt where you can win awesome prizes, hats, cool bottle opener, butterfly knives, awesome whiskey stones that are all custom branded, leather posters, Nidus Yetis, custom Viking mugs, a real weapon. <laughs> Custom Raven Hatchet. Thousand years old, real Viking keys, and this awesome weapon. And cool fun stuff like an invite to our private party. The way that you're gonna find it is find these little poker chips all over the convention, tap your phone to them, and that's how you're gonna start the scavenger hunt. Lots of cool prizes, and not everyone's gonna be able to make it. Hope you can do it. I'll see you guys there, later.